hello viewers welcome to the channel and another practical exercise in this video we'll design this 3d model here we'll be using rectangular array to create these holes and a parameter in the chamfer tool to create this chamfer with these two distance here i hope you like this video if you're not subscriber subscribe and now let's go to our video go to free cut First, let's close this document and next let's create a new document just click on this plus icon and we need to be in the part design workbench here so the part design and the next thing to do is to create a new body just click on this icon and next create a sketch here we can start off with sketch here and there was a plane and the sketch here what we'll do is to trust the sketch for this part here okay so first you can select center rectangle and then sketch out workbench we go to this icon here and we select this option center rectangle and next just click on this horizontal axis and click on vertical axis and now escape and delete this line here select and delete okay and next we use arc tool this tool here and just click on this vertical axis and draw this arc and do the same here okay and next just click on this horizontal axis and connect these two and points of these two arcs here okay and next let's apply tangent constraint and first let's select this point here and apply tangent and let's do the same here set tangent and here and here in this point so let's select constraint distance tool for this line here, as you can see, we have 50 millimeters, let's add 50. And for this vertical line, we have, we have 70. Let's add the distance. Okay, now we have two degrees of freedom. Next, let's click here and select constraint radius. For this arc here, we'll set a radius of 10 millimeters. Okay, and this arc here will set 70. There is the mission here and now we have this sketch full constraint it skip two times to leave the sketch now press home and let's make an extrusion now let's select pet tool let's add some mark to plane and now let's see the length of this extrusion as you can see here we have seven so length here will be seven let's add seven and enter now we have this and next let's create a new sketch now let's select with the plane again and what we'll do now is to trace this sketch here with this cycle so let's do that first you select external jump tool and extract this edge here okay and next let's select cycle tool and just click on this horizontal axis okay this center point here must be constrained in this horizontal axis. So we we'll place this constraint here, and next let's add the ratio of this cycle. As you can see here, we we'll have a diameter of 36. So what you do here is to set 36 divided by 2, and you get 18 millimeters. And next let's set the distance between the center point to this end point. As you can see here, we we'll have 128 so let's select horizontal distance tool and next this point here and this point and let's set 128 okay and next let's hide these all constraints and now let's start tracing these lines here these arcs just click here and next click in the center point and draw this first arc okay and now just zoom out and we set the center point here and next we click here in this point and now in this edge and we draw this arc now we click in this edge and next we select line tool and and we draw this line here okay and next let's add tangent constraints let's select this point here and set tangent and the same here set tangent Okay, and the next thing to do is to set smart call constraint for this line here. So what you do, we select 
cosine symmetrical and next this point this end point and this horizontal axis and now we have this the next thing to do is to set the length of this line here we can select cosine distance tool and next this line and as you can see here we have 58 for this line let's add 58 and then enter and we have three degrees of freedom now next let's select cosine radius for this arc here as you can see we have a radius of 29 let's add 29 and this arc here we have 200 and this arc here we have 600 okay now i have this sketch full constrained escape two times and next let's make an extrusion select pet tool press home okay first is set smart to plane and we change length here to 40 okay okay now that we have this let's create let's create this pocket here and this pocket to do that we can create a sketch in the xy plane just click here and select xy plane double click here and the next select centered rectangle and now just zoom in here click on this vertical axis and draw this rectangle in this way next let's constrain the size of this rectangle let's select the external jump tool and extract this edge here now we have this point here we can use this point to fix this rectangle so first you can select constraint vertical distance and now these two endpoints and the distance here must be 10 millimeters okay now let's add horizontal distance just select horizontal distance tool and now these two endpoints and the distance here must be 10 millimeters as you can see here okay now we have this we have this sketch here for this pocket now we have to trust this geometry we can use rounded rectangle okay just click here and select rounded rectangle now zoom in and draw this rectangle in this way next we'll select smart color constraint but first let's hide this all constraint just click in this icon and now we have this next select smart color constraint and select this endpoint and this endpoint and now this horizontal axis Next, let's select horizontal distance tool and set the distance here for these two points. As you can see, we have 15, so I'll set 15 here. And now we have to constrain this point and this edge here, as you can see here. So we need to extract this edge here. To do that, we can select this tool, external jump tool, and extract this edge. Okay, now just zoom in and let's use this constraint here select this edge and now this end point and next we have this okay next just click here constrain radius and now click in this arc and set five millimeters escape two times and now let's select pocket two let's set choco here and set smart to plane and now just click ok and as you can see now we have this okay next we can create a base charm for here let's do that go to our document and you select this edge here and now chamfer tool okay now we go to the parameters of this chamfer operation we go to the tab and we click here and we need to select two distance as you can see here we have this first distance 40 and 10 millimeters so okay here in the first size we'll set this dimension here this size 10 millimeters let's set 10 and as you can see we have this now here in the size 2 we'll set this distance 40 okay and as you can see we have this let's click ok and now let's create these two parts here and this hole and this face here just select this face and now create a new sketch okay now we go to this origin point and we need to select external jump tool and extract these two 
edge here to get the center point. Okay, next let's select cycle tool. Let's use the cycle tool to trace a sketch for these two holes here. Just click in the center point and draw the cycle and draw the cycle now. And next you select these two here and we click in the center point and we draw this geometry and now this geometry okay the next thing to do is to apply equal constraint for these geometries so let's select the constraint here equal constraint select this cycle and this cycle now this cycle and this cycle here next let's select vertical constraint okay we'll constrain these two lines here vertical select this line and this line here okay next you can set the diameter of these cycles just click here and select constraint diameter for this first cycle we'll set eight millimeters okay and this cycle here will set 15 okay and now we have this skip two times and let's select that two okay the length here will be two millimeters. As you can see here, we have a distance of seven and here seven four. So the pad here will be two millimeters and two. Okay. Now that we have this, we can mirror this operation and this operation here. To do that, we need to go to the model tab and then first select this chamfer and now control this pad and select mirror these two here we need to change the plane here to YZ plane so we go to plane and we click here and we select this option YZ plane okay and now we have this just click OK and now we need to create holes here we can select this face and control this face here and use pocket tool okay what you need to do now to create these holes in this side here is to change the type to triangle and okay now I have this as you can see the next thing to do is to create this rectangular array here of these holes we can create a sketch in this face here create any sketch and the next thing to do is to go to sketch jumps and select cycle tool and next draw this cycle and let's consider the diameter of this cycle to eight millimeters as you can see we have eight here let's set eight okay now that we have the cycle the next thing to do is to create a rectangle array using this cycle we'll do that in this workbench sketch workbench we have a tool here this tool rectangular array what you need to do is to escape this command here and let's add these constraints here let's select this cycle and then we can use this tool here just click here and in this dialog what you do is to change the number of columns to five okay and the rows to three and we have to check these all options here okay now just click ok and the next thing to do is to set a location okay so i click here and as you can see i have this rectangular array okay the next thing to do is to change this angle and also this distance we can make a double click on this distance double click as you can see we have 16 here we need to change here to this distance 12 so i change to 12 and enter okay and this angle here we need to remove this angle just select this angle and delete and next select horizontal constraint and make this line horizontal okay so now we have this as you can see let's hide these all constraints here we have two degrees of freedom we need to fix the position of this sketch here the first thing that we'll do is to fix this point in this horizontal axis like in this texture drawing okay so we can use this tool here just click here and now select this point and this horizontal axis 
okay now we have one degree of freedom the next thing to do is to set this distance here we can use Excel and Geometry tool to extract this edge and get this end point here next select horizontal distance tool and now these two end points and set 10 millimeters okay and now this sketch is full constraint it scale two times and now we can create a pocket select pocket tool change the type to triangle and now we have these holes in the side here so now just click ok and as you can see we finished the design of this model the simple model so thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends thank you for watching i hope to see you in the next video